Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, y'all definitely deserve this episode. It's 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 long overdue. Iron Eyed, welcome back to another episode of Three Thousand for Top. So where we left off, it's been three weeks since y'all uh, haven't gotten an episode. So uh, yeah, I think it's about time we actually do another one for y'all. So I had about at least a ton of questions in my. <laughs> Discord, but unfortunately, I did not have enough for um, the YouTube comment section, so I had to resort to those and I had to pick at least nine questions because some of y'all were fucking trolling and giving sus questions and even political questions, even though I told you motherfuckers to stop doing that. <sighs> but nevertheless, let's get right into it, shall we? All right, for the first question is, who is your number one YouTuber? Um. Over the last few years, it, that shit still hasn't changed. Um, because my number one YouTuber has always been and will be fucking cute. I've been said this shit. He's been a childhood figure for me for the last few years. I haven't been the same without him for a long time. However, some people would actually have a problem with me on that one because uh, due to the recent incident. But nevertheless. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get right back into it. Who is your favorite football or soccer player? Um, that would be messy. Thank you very much. What do you think of Deja simply <laughs> spamming your comments on YouTube? Uh, I was wondering if one of my fan base people was going to figure out what she was doing because it was very clear she was doing this shit. Don't worry about it. She can be very, very, very talkative. And I do mean talkative. Literally, my friends actually warned me about the fact that she is talkative, so I digress. What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? I, personally for me, um, I want people to actually acknowledge that there is a balance between production and talent when it comes to the hip-hop side. That's all I want to literally let people know of because sometimes people choose production over talent and that's where the biggest disconnect actually becomes a huge issue, especially when it comes to the day-to-day -day, um, options of today's like modern hip-hop. Like it, it, It's very clear that production is now being chose over actual talent over lyrics or sometimes even singing, or even both. Like, that can be very, very disconnecting sometimes. What do you think of the song, North North? Oh, I already know about this song. Um, Vince Staples actually did really, really good on that track. I think she gave it a rating um, last time, and I even remember doing this shit. Like, eh. If I didn't, if um, y'all don't know the rating, it's, Right here, and this was private. Like literally, this was private. So, a solid track, man. How is the, your YouTube career going? Ah, it's going all right. But, um, I've been having a pretty decent, um, <sighs> I've been having a pretty decent time on YouTube as of late because um, the channel's growing and things are actually doing a little bit better than they should. Which I'm very, very happy for. Which I'm more than capable to say, like, hey man. <laughs> Life's okay right now. Life's okay right now. Okay. Minecraft or su Sakura Succubus? Minecraft because I actually am more relaxed with Minecraft. Sakura Succubus, not so much. Though I love playing that game. There are times where they go too far, but you already know. <laughs> Uh, what is a good way to start a Minecraft channel? I mean, um, the good way to start a Minecraft channel is start off what your brand is on the channel itself. Do you do um, MC Championships? Do you do other particular Minecraft content? Do you build? Do you survive? Do you do any of these things? Start on that brand first. Then after that, work your way through it. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be something that's going to be your benefit in the future. Like, I can tell you right now, throughout the last few years of Minecraft that I've played, there has been so many people who are PvP players, survival players, and building players. And let me tell you, 
you have to choose either one category over the other, or you just have to have to choose one thing or the other, or just literally play on the server. But that's what my boy Wolfie did, but we already know. But anyway, um, now for the last one, I wanted to actually cherish this one a bit different because I did skip um question three, um, and for the last three years, it has been awesome because I have never been this happy in a while. And this will be brought up to the person that I'm gonna bring up right now because um, I wanna pay homage to her because she was one of the few people that actually helped me break through that bond between my um, one of my former favorite streamers. And uh, I, I really appreciate her. Um, her name's Ludo, Zaf Ludo. Um, she has been with I, I say she's been with me since I was probably say around like 2020 2019 because um, she heard about the incident that happened to me and um, and I tweeted out to that day and um, she helped me out she helped me break the ties with her and all that shit including everybody else there as well and it was rough so I had a long long time um thinking about it and i personally pay homage and respect to her because she's kind she's very heartwarming and she can be dumb which is actually really really funny but um yeah um she's done a lot to keep me out of the balance of things because the thing is is that if i wouldn't have if ludo haven't found me today i probably would be stuck in that same fucking loop that I was back in 2019 and it would it would have literally put me into a really bad mental state and I honestly wouldn't have done it without her like honestly I wouldn't have done it without her so little if you see this video thank you so much for everything that you have done for me and done for everyone and um I really appreciate everything you have done for me, especially breaking the ties with her. But yeah, I really do appreciate you. And um, that'll about do it for this. This day's was that, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoy your day. It's been that, guys. Later.